So for the second league of the day, we're going to be playing some Bant Snow Control. This is very similar to the deck that Harlan and Zach Allen played at the Players' Championship. This is a deck that they had put a lot of time into and really confident in. Um, not exactly the same list. This list is more close to the controlling route, because where Harlan and Zach chose to play like Mana Accelerants in the form of one mana mana creatures, like Birds of Paradise and Double Hierarch, um, this list is going more of a controlling route. Like, you're foregoing the one mana accelerant so that you can support Supreme Verdict, and you're just like, you have a little bit more, like, counter magic going on, um, but you don't have Spell Queller. You have, like, excuse me, a lot of the same interactive cards, but in general, your flex slots now contain, like, sweepers. I think you're plus a... You, I don't think they played Cryptic Command. If they did, they didn't play a lot. Like, plus a Planeswalker or whatever. Like, all your flex slots are now filled with, like, more control cards and less, like, accelerants and just tempo-based cards. So, breaking down this deck real quick. Um, the idea is to have a fair deck that leverages Oko well. And that's why you're playing something like Astrolabe and Quaddle. These are things that, you know, you can trade away. You can also, like, upgrade into 3-3s three or whatever. Snapcasters, you can easily upgrade into 3-3s three later, which is also really good. Um, just, like... A fair deck that can easily support the the busted three mana planeswalkers, the the twenty nineteen design mistakes, as they say. Um, and because all of your payoffs are fairly low on your curve, you don't have to have like 26, 27 lands like some of the the Sphinx's Revelation control decks you're used to seeing do. Like your threats all are like three mana, so you don't really need to hit your fifth land drop at all. Like you have one colonnade, so you eventually want to hit your sixth, I guess. But like this is more or less for very fair matchups where the game's going to go much longer and you're almost guaranteed to hit your land drops. Um, this deck, I don't... I think this deck can operate off a lot less mana than the other control decks, which is a big upgrade to the other control decks in Modern, for whatever that's worth. Is like, you... Oko is a little more proactive, so it kills faster. You have... You can operate off a lower base for, like, mana-wise. Like, you just don't need as many lands in play. And you still get access to a lot of the busted stuff that the control decks are doing, like Jace the Mind Sculptor with Force Negation, Sweepers, like Cryptic Command, and like the Busted Walkers. So there's a lot to like here. The man is a lot smoother too. Like a lot of times control decks, when they play four Field of Ruin to make their Tron matchup palpable, they like ruin their mana base. But Astrolabe does a lot of work to fix your mana once you break it with Field of Ruin. So uh, I really like the only one Celestial Colonnade in this mana base. That makes a lot of sense to me. The pile of basics makes you not even weak to things like Blood Moon or like opposing Field of Ruins just trying to cut you off colors. You're not weak to that at all. You have a lot of, I mean, you have still a good fetch uh, shock mana base. Like I think what you got, like one, two, three, and a Mystic Sanctuary, that's sick. Yeah, three shocks and like eight fetches. That's a pretty reasonable base with a bunch of, which a bunch of the, uh, the basics, one of each type you can grab. And then a Mystic Sanctuary in case you flood. I think this mana base is really tight. And I think this is actually fairly well-tuned. The Colonnade still might be kind of bad, but uh, I think having access to one makes a lot of sense. Uh, four Ashley, have two Spell Pierce is just a cheap early interaction. I love that a lot. Mana Leak I don't love as much, but it's still cheap interaction, and I'm willing to support it. Ice Fang Quaddle, got the snow stuff. Might as well be snowing. Got your uh, Quaddle. Action, got your Snapcaster Mages, Flashbacks. Only really like Path... Archmage's Charm and Cryptic, so the good hits. So that's why we only see two Snapcaster Mages in this deck, because we're not actually a great Snapcaster deck. Like, you don't really have something you can do when you're just at parody and you want to, like, flashback a cantrip or whatever. You should have a lot going on there. Um, you're relying much more on, like, Teferi to be picking up your Astrolabes when you're just, like, looking to dirtle in the mid game to kind of get some velocity going. This Mystical Dispute's kind of a one drop, so I guess it should be over here. I like the main deck Mystical Dispute a lot. And this is something that I actually want to touch on for just a second, because I think that even like in Urza decks where they're playing like Metallic Rebuke, I think a lot of times you should be playing Mystical Dispute right now, because the Urza Mirror is so prevalent that like if you are on the draw, you want to be able to go land go, and then if they have a turn to Oko, you can actually counter it. Whereas that's very hard to do with Metallic Rebuke. And so I think main decking Mystical Dispute makes a lot of sense in this current modern format. Which is insane to say, right? Like, blue cards are actually finally so good modern that, like, you have this main deckable blue hate card. Never thought I'd see the day. But I, I think Mystical Dispute is very, very good. And most decks that can support that card in the main deck, I think, probably should be right now. 
Um, you got three Force Negations. I wish I saw four in the 75. I think this card's really good. And you recoup card advantage very well. Hard casting is not a problem. I, I kind of want to see four, but we'll try out three and see how good it actually is in this modern format. Um, Archmage's Charm. The best cancel, it seems. We've we've upgraded. We have our one mana, uh, one mana counter spells, two mana counter spells, three mana counter spells, and four mana counter spells. This is apparently the best in the threes. So I'm here for it. Doubles as a draw spell. Maybe wouldn't mind seeing like a second one to complement the Snapcast just a little bit better, but it's all right. Three Teferi, three Oko. Wish I saw the fourth Oko. I don't want a fourth Teferi, but Oko is so busted. I think I do want a fourth one of those, but I will need to see how good of an Oko deck we actually are. And then, of course, we got three Jace the Mind Sculptors. Reminds me a lot of the Zach Allen Harlan Fear way of building decks, if you remember the Jeskai Mentor deck I played in Legacy, that played like two two to three Jace, then it was like three Narset, or two to three Narset, two to three Teferi. Like, just a very even split on all your Planeswalkers, just looking to draw a good mixture of all the Planeswalkers to really lock your opponent out of the game. And last but not least, you've got, of course, the two Cryptic Commands. Counterspells are back in style now that, you know, there are busted cards that you need to counter, and there is a fair deck on top, so Cryptic Command is a good card, again, to be doing. And then you got Supreme Verdicts for your creature matchups, which are pretty bad, given your only removal spells are currently like 4 Path Exile and hope to line up your Quattle Blocks. <laughs> I guess Oko shuts down a lot of creatures, too, so you're probably actually very good against creature decks, but like, on the surface, this isn't like... If you remember the Jeskai Control deck of old, like, there was the old... Jeskai Control versus Zoo matchup, where you had, like, the pile of Lightning Bolts versus the pile of X3s. It's like, well, we can draw up how this is going to go. Whereas this requires, like, a little bit more uh, lining your threats up correctly. And, I'm sorry, li yeah, lining up your cards right to really interact quickly enough against the, like, decks like humans or whatever that can get under you with creatures. So, overall, good setup. Looks like if I'm going to play a Control deck in Modern, this is definitely one of the ones that... Uh, this is definitely the way I would want it built. I would want the best card in Modern in it, for sure. Um, taking a peek at the sideboard, I don't know what's with this deck building thing recently where people decided that only two Veil of Summers is, like, the right number to be playing the sideboard. This is a thing that's happened both in Urza decks and apparently this deck as well. I don't know when this was decided who came to this conclusion, but it doesn't make a ton of sense to me. And seeing it here makes me really want to stop and question it for a little longer. Veil of Summers are, like, a pretty good card in Modern right now, right? And, like, Shadow being prevalent, it being good against Urza. Why are we not playing, like, three of these and maybe in some situations, like, four? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but we'll see how that plays out. A pile of more counter magic, because we didn't have enough of that in the main deck. We're just going to put more counter spells in our deck and hope that gets us somewhere. We got Ceremonious Rejections to shore up, like, the Eldrazi Tron, uh, Tron matchups. We got Strokes for, like, the Titan Shift Amulet Titan matchups. And you might be able to bring, like, one in against Urza. No, Oko matters too much. You got Mystical Dispute for, like, the Urza matchup. And probably, like, Mirror-style stuff. Any, anywhere there's blue cards, you're probably going to want it. Oh, Storm. It's good against Storm, too. Um, and last but not least, you got Dovid's Veto. Once again, just very good against non-creature spells. So you're going to be thinking combo decks. And, like, this is still going to be good against uh, Scape Shift, but not good against Amulet Titan, probably. Yeah, Questing Beasts, which I love. This card is a nice addition to this deck to give you, let you get a little uh, little little frisky in the sideboard games. If you're playing like a mirror style matchup, you can blow up opposing Teferis. You can blow up like Pressure Okos fairly well. I don't know. Questing Beasts seems really really good to me. Two Town reinforcements for the Burn matchup. Three resting pieces for, I mean, the graveyard matchups. Dredge, Storm. What else is being played? You might could bring like one or two in against Shadow if they're like playing Grixis and they have Snapcasters and Gurmags. That sounds kind of bad to me, especially because your Shadow matchup's already really good. And then Celestial Burge, um, black and red permanents burn Shadow still. I don't know. Celestial Burge is very, very flexible and modern. As Thoughtseize is one of the premier ways to interact. Like it's usually even good against like the the Thoughtseize based interactive decks. So this deck's really sweet. It's got a lot of cards I want to play with and want to be good, so I am excited to give it a try. This is probably going to take forever because it's a control deck, so I'm going to move. I'm going to try to move as quickly as possible through this league because I don't want to be here all night and neither do you. <sighs> Happy New Year. I've learned a lot from your channel through osmosis. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that, basic land shark. I try to help people out. I mean, that's that's like generically why I do it. It's like, I only stream once a week 
and it's something I've thought about putting more time into, but basically every person I know that has gone like deep on streaming has let it like really rip their life apart. Like once they start caring about like their viewer numbers, they start caring about their sub numbers, they start caring about how they're actually doing in the game. Like they have all of these like insane goals for themselves that they're like obsessed with meeting and like sacrificing sleep and happiness and all this stuff, mental health days for it. And I am really, really terrified of that happening to me. So I kind of have just kept streaming exactly as much as I want. And I really like my relationship with just like once a week, kind of touch base with the, the different kind of stuff I'm testing and what I'm working with and just talking to all of you and letting you all talk to me and like kind of just using my YouTube channel as a like archive for like streams and stuff like that so that people can still watch my content even if they're not available in this small window in which I'm willing to stream every week. So I, it just makes me feel sometimes like I don't do enough. Like, if I'm somebody that, like, wants to be respected as a content creator, which, you know, maybe therein, therein is the root of the problem, then I should stream more. And I've been telling myself I should stream more, but, like, I'm kind of scared that already it kind of takes up enough of my life. And I don't think there's a lot of pressure on me to actually stream more. It would just be, like, me trying to get that kind of, like, respect and hit these random uh, metrics that define Twitch success. I can't tell if I'm supposed to keep this or not, so I've just been staring at it. I'm gonna keep it. I've gone from a deck that could, like, I could map out my turns to, like, line up a kill on turn three to, like, this deck where I'm just like, what if they're not playing creatures? I feel like I'm just dead. But, as is the way with control decks, I suppose. Stomping ground, eh? Well, I guess I should want to, I should be able to path on this turn. But, all that is around about to say, thank you for your support, basically, and it means a lot. <laughs> and I'm glad people like you extract value from my my content, even though I don't produce as much content as I maybe should. Well, this looks like it's going to be a Path or Snapcasters kind of matchup. And we're going to need to start drawing some counter magic quickly. Why is Moto so, like, buggy? Might have to restart it after this. Boop. It's, like, going so slow. Get it together. <sighs> well, now I can grab the forest, I guess. It's probably fine. We can develop our mana with these field of runes later. I'm going to play Ice Fang on my next turn. If I had a Cryptic, I would path my... I guess I could snap path if I draw it. They have not played a land for turn. Hope they don't. And we have time to get out of this. Uh oh. That's not good for me. Their next mountain thankfully doesn't trigger it, but. What the heck? Here's a nice thing. Land Mystic Sanctuary. Well, that's not great. <clears throat> All right, well, here's a field to run. This doesn't even represent, like, force negation. It's pretty messed up. Grab forests. Sakura Tribe Builder. Okay. Oh shit, I lost an extra life. Tilt. Um, there's no reasonable way they should screw this up. They have to go all four of their basics. Why not? We'll make them do it. We'll concede to what the triggers in the stack. Normally, I don't make people play it out, but like, 
um, I guess I should actually test to see if they know, like, the interaction here. Well, as I said, we kept a hand that didn't basically only interacted with creatures, and then they didn't play creatures. One, two basics. There's two basics left in the deck. Okay. We did. Tilt. Good perspective on the game. Seems you also have a great outlook on streaming, too. I dig it. We'll be looking out for them streams. Oh, no. What did I walk into? Me dying with bad snow control to uh, to some Titan shift action. I kind of want to, like, bring in questing beasts. Is that crazy? Like, it is. Oh, my gosh. This is unbearable. Is Moto about to crash on me? Oh no! I got the the spinny wheel, Moto. No. Please. I just want to finish sideboarding before you close. Quality program. I'm just gonna stare at this for a second. Two minutes. All right. Oh. Kill it. I guess I should, should have restarted Magic Online. When was the last time you restarted? Your top MGM player. Brittany, I get that meme. That's sick. <laughs> Should do it at least every two matches. I'm off doing it every two matches. Usually it's good for two leagues. All right, am I still sideboarding? Excellent. All right, give me give me these back. I want all my counter spells. I'm, I'm considering leaving, Do uh, what's it called? Mystical Dispute in is just a three-mana mana leak, too. Like, I just don't even care. Like, we have so many bad cards. Verdict's really bad. Although Verdict does answer the field of the dead tokens, so we're going to leave in the Verdicts and we're going to cut the paths. Spellburst is, like, really bad, I think. I think Dispute is better. I want to stop the Charles cards. Quest and Beast. I have 59 cards right now. We'll leave the Spellburst in. Alright, let's try this. We'll just play, like, Mono Counter Spells and then hope that we draw a field of the Ruin for their field of the dead and... Oh, jeez. All right, the no-lander. Okay. This hand's actually good. Double stroke. We got Teferi to pick up this Astrolabe for later. We can just bottom this Jace. It's very good. Very good. Reimbursement time. Memory leaks? I mean, Moto definitely has memory leaks. That's undeniable. Didn't get to watch much of the first deck. How did that go? 3-2, Jacob. Uh, Funic. I hope I said your name right. We, uh, yeah, we 3 2 And the deck felt okay. The mana base had some issues. The sideboard had some issues. But overall, the, the deck actually felt fairly powerful. Like, mostly just because Yawgmoth is such a messed up card, and that's what the entire deck's, like, focused on doing, is just, like, getting Yawgmoth in play. And Once Upon a Time actually looked really, really good in that deck. I just drew two Canopy Lands and the Burn Mirror. Sounds skill-intensive. Guess I need practice. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Just get better. Did my opponent lose connection as well? What is happening? Is Moto just like struggling to work today? A third? Perfect. Yeah, just shock, just bolt your stuff every time you tap your lands. What's the problem? Magic Online, I would like to get ran over by Titan Shift, please. I deserve this. Punch typed ouch in chat. <laughs> That's gas. It's a holiday and Moto has to work. It's striking. <laughs> Understandable, Anarchist Dave. Understandable. Oh. Um, 
Like, their time's ticking down, so I know I'm not crazy. It doesn't say they disconnected anywhere in this, like, log. I don't know what's happening here. Hello? Alright, well, I guess we're doomed to sit here. Maybe we can get some... Uh, they're still resolving mulligans. Titan... Okay, let me tell you. Mulliganing with Titan Shift? Hard? Not this hard. It's not this hard. We can get, we can get a game of Love Letter going while we wait. Might be the tech. Alright. I've not opened Love Letter in forever. Most romantic Love Letters for him. Thanks. What about the install program called Love Letter? Can you open that? <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, oh, wait, no. Alright. Never mind. I've opened Love Letter needlessly. Die. Alright. <laughs> I'd like to keep... Did they mulligan after all that time? They capped. Unbelievable. Keep. Bottom this. Done. Yeet. Yeet, yeet. Yeet. Hopefully they suspend search on one. Oh yeah, that field of ruin is a sick pickup. So that we can, this Teferi will catch it. That would be so nice. They did not. I'm the least lucky person on the planet. Um, so we want to grab islands to make our Mystic Sanctuary better. So I'm likely just going to be grabbing blue-green breeding pool. Okay. Okay, and they probably brought in just like a set of L Summers. Which makes this Teferi really good. What would you like to pay to? Would not. Another Teferi, huh? Um, I still don't want to expose this. And I'm fine going to 17. Snow covered island. Death. And we'll roll it up. This this keeps us this keeps us insured against Veil of Summers. Okay. Roll it up. Go. Could fry it, but I highly doubt they brought fry in. It's about the only thing in their deck that reasonably kills a Teferi without help. How's it going, Nubs? How are you? Great to see you again. I won on a Molda 4 the other day. It was like two lands firewalk or some shit. I've actually won more games on my Molda 4s than I've lost. My Molda 3s, I'm 100% loss rate, though. Never won a mold of three. Yeah, my mold of five win rate is bad. But my mold of four win rate is actually shockingly good. Dang it. This means I don't think I can do the Teferi thing, which kind of sucks. Jace? That is not it, Chief. Um... Uh, do we just bounce like this Sakura Chai Builder? We can just bounce this Astrolabe now. Since my mana doesn't actually need help right now. I guess we'll just plus again. Just like really want to make sure we keep this Teferi around. Because I think how we use our mana each turn matters a lot now. And like they could easily just Valakut out of hand. Yeah, they're going to attack the fairy down. Makes a lot of sense. I don't know why I held up double disdainful stroke. I think I actually should have done the Teferi trick this turn. 
I was, I was like, wanting to hold up Field of Ruin plus Disdainful Stroke, because I think this is a turn that they could have, like... Like, if they hold the Sakura Chai Boulder, they can play Field and then crack Sakura Chai Boulder. And I think that's meaningful. Also, if they have Veil, we're not even insured. So, I probably sequence really badly this game. Which sucks. Dovin's Veto, huh? Pick this up. Um, here's an afterlave. <sighs> yup. Land. I think they have at least one more payoff. And if they do, then we... I think we're supposed to, like, once if we can't if we catch one more payoff, I think we're supposed to play Jace and start fatailing, and just like put them on not having another one. Like, otherwise we have to wait like a million turns, give or take about a million. You attacking me yet? You're still attacking this fairy. Okay. Okay. I'm actually gonna get punished for not holding up double counters for this turn. What is this? Six mana. Escape shift with two floating. Make white. Veto that. No! Please stop! No, there's a secure trouble. Okay. Oko. Plus, we have a lot of stuff to do at instant speed, so maybe we just hold it all. Yeah, we'll just hold it all. I kind of want to Jace, but like, they, he still hasn't... They still have not given me any reason. Because <laughs> like... They... It's very likely they don't have another one, right? And then we are we get highly rewarded for playing the Jace, but like it's also pretty free to just try to gain information and try to make some more land drops by cycling this Archimedes charm. Yeah, attacking me seems a lot better. But look at sure. Search for tomorrow. Uh that gets you an extra activation, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and blow that up. Boop. Then you crack Skrow Tribelder, kill the Teferi. Yup. No matter what, you're getting an activation, but I'd much rather you not have a Skrow Tribelder. And now we're definitely playing Jace, and start. we're going to start Fate Sealing. And we have our clock. We get to put our clock into play. Check this out. Clock. Busted. I'm going to open up an OnlyFans account for El Tron. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Understandable. Double field of run. That's so many field of runs. Um, is it better to play Oko and just like start beating? Or Jace and start fate sealing? What's more impactful? I think Jace is more impactful, so I'm just going to Jace. Uh, uh, ew. Uh, put this on top. Yeah, we'll leave it on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they can still tighten. All right, well, shields are down for a second. I was hoping their card would be worse and that it wouldn't cycle, but making them pay me out of a cycle it is very good for me. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to play Oko. There's a real argument to me playing Oko. I, didn't, I don't know how many bad hits there are. Because, like, if it's just, like, a ramp spell, I'm happy about it. So maybe maybe I was actually supposed to bottom that, but it's the same chance, right? Like, I'd rather them still just have to pay the mana. Oh, they're just going to hold it. Okay. Strange. I don't know why they're holding stuff. Plus two, you. Uh, put it on the bottom. No. 
deck. Um, seven. This ults at twelve. We can play to fairy and plus. We have six mana that lets us hold up. Holding up stroke plus Archmage's Charm, I think, is still just correct. Like, this chase will win the game eventually. We'll just keep using it. Okay. Okay. Cryptic Command. Do we start brainstorming now to, like, hit land drops? This is tough. Yeah... I think now that we have a critical mass of counter spells, we could be supposed to brainstorm. Although Field of the Dead is still such a scary card to top deck that I think and this lets us plus this lets us plus toward an actual win condition. Alright. I sold myself on still a plushing JC, even though I kinda wanna brainstorm for lands. Alright, do I want to cycle this? I don't know if you can claim ideas like that in Magic. <laughs> when you say yes, it pushes it to bottom. Oh, shit. Did I actually push something to bottom on accident? I don't know. I might have. You're right. Which means they have an unknown card, which is really frustrating. I'm just going to hope it doesn't bite me. Hour of Promise? Put it on the bottom. Yes. That might be why they didn't have land. Maybe I did actually put that stupid cycling land on the bottom. I just now realized that. Very good at magic. Drake Sasser, everybody. Today on things I would not have screwed up on paper. Leon and Arbiter and pushing that to bottom. Because that's apparently what I did. Matter Reshaper is the best creature in modern. All right, Dylan Hand. All right, well, I guess. Thankfully, the cool thing about them putting a Valakut in play is it triggers, what's it called? So we get a chance to blow it up. Uh, boop. Yeah, see ya. Boop. All right, you've dealt three to my Jace. All right. Plus two. Look at you. Uh, put this in the bottom. Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll just probably discard the supreme verdict. Spellpierce also is probably dead. Maybe not though. Spellpierce is likely less dead than this Oko we're never planning on playing. Spellpierce, Supreme Verdict. What's more dead? Spellpierce. I think Spellpierce is more dead. Than Supreme Verdict. Okay. Um, the Archmage's Charm to draw to... We short, hard counter spells. There's just no reason to. Plus two, look at you. Put it on the bottom, yes. There's a lot of payoff there, friend. These Titan Ship players, I'll tell you what, they always have it. La da 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 da. Somehow still ahead on time. Discard. We done? You gotta move now. Are we done here? Looks like we're done here. Exile the cards from your deck. <laughs> Alright. They are not interested in continuing to play. To the surprise of everyone. Dude, I could Archmage, Archmage's Charm to deck them faster. That's genius. I'm so smart. Um... 
think this Questing Beast sucks. Based on how bad Oko was, I think this Questing Beast is really bad. I think this Spell Purse is really good. And I am an idiot for sideboarding like how I did. So, with all that conclusion's out of the way. Submit. Played Titan Shift with Escape. And it, the other day it was very nasty. Wolf. Escape is sick in Titan Shift. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Oh, I forgot to update the Twitch title. One second. I apologize. Creator's word. Watch me time out because I'm like doing this. <laughs> Alright, it's updated. I did it. It's done. Friendly flap. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Is there any universe where I can keep this hand? Like a cantrip into like just mana? This hand is so bad. But I value functional mana so highly. Go away, Jace. Look at this mana base. I tell you what, this is a <laughs> this is a beauty. This is beauty. Oh yeah, this is a Drake kind of deck. <laughs> Damn right. Both decks are Drake kind of decks, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and fetch our island. I want to start getting islands out so that, like, maybe there's a chance this stupid, uh, Mystic Sanctuary matters at some point during this game. But right now I'm not holding my breath. Oh, there's another fetch, so maybe, maybe you will after all. Is Field of Ruin good against Titan Shift? Asking for a friend. Yes. Yes, it is. It's also very good against Field of the Dead. Also, Archmage's Charm. Yeah, <laughs> casting Archmage's Charm is kind of hard, even with Astral Ape, yeah. Uh, if Cryptic Locks weren't something, I think Titan Shift would be pretty good. I mean, you still have Veil of Summer in Titan Shift. Like, that's not a joke. Right? I'm just cracking it now. Cool with that. Wonder what universe there is right now where that spe this Spell Pierce has targets. Ashley. The second Ashley was actually a nice pickup. It's going to help us cast these cryptic commands. Ooh. More islands I can fetch. Love to see it. Maybe this Mystic Sanctuary is going to be good. I'm excited about the prospect. I'm also excited to get Veil of Summered. This Spellbirds might line up with a good Veil of Summer. Yup. The only the creature ran spell, huh? That is a tilt. Fetch. Hollowed Fountain? Uh, yeah, we already have green. Hollowed Fountain. No. And there's technically a Supreme Verge from the deck, I suppose. Uh, they have four mana. Let's think here. They missed their land drop. So can I afford to play this Teferi? We saw Hour of Promise, so I think that means I can't. Because if they hit their land drop and Hour of Promise me, then I feel like such a doofus. All right, we'll play this Forest and we'll pass. This Teferi is going to have to wait. All our counter spells being chonky is kind of frustrating. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Never mind, got Ulamog, deleting of Digio. Understandable. Got chewed by the Noble Hierarch deck while playing four Lava Dart. Sick. Um, I think that card's okay. Especially if you're not making land drops. All right, now we can Teferi pick up the Prismatic Omen, which is pretty sick. Um, yeah, down for that. Here for it. Make them use their mana. Minus three, pick that up. And I don't think there's a universe where we get punished for this. Like... Prismatic Omen Valakut is the scariest thing, and that just kills my Teferi. Shock. Reggie, thanks for the 10 bits. I really appreciate it, man.
It means a lot. Hopefully they play our promise against spell pierced. That'd be so sick. Dang. Look at me playing on our promise like a genius. Oop! Oop! How did that happen? Plus Um put the field rune in play. I suppose let's pass. We might just like blow up one of their stomping grounds and begin to try to cut them off double green. I don't think that works. There's still two forests in their deck. Yeah, that doesn't actually put lands into play, so I'm not super worried about that. You already know I have a field of ruin. Lightning bolt to fairy. Can I bounce draw? Is that reasonable? Why are they so scared of Teferi is my question. Hey, thanks for the host, Strategy. I appreciate it. Why are they why are they so scared of this of this Teferi? These cryptic commands are clunky. But I think this Teferi is meaningful. I have five lands in play. So I can hold Cryptic next turn. I think I'll let this go. I also don't want to get Veil of Summer. Maybe I should have... No, I don't think I did any... I don't think I really messed anything up. Let me use this Field of Run just to fix my mana. Maybe make theirs a little more awkward. No, they have Prismatic on. This is so bad. By fix my mana, I mean I just need islands. There you go. I just need the third island so I can feel comfortable grabbing something with this. We don't really have a ton going on, but we're making land drops. We have multiple Field of Ruins, and we have multiple counter spells. So, like, it's hard to feel like I'm in a bad position. Sakura Tribe, for sure. If I bounce a land draw and then they veil me and I Dovin's veto it, is that a spew? Can we keep them from veiling me for any extended period of time? I don't think so. If we bounce a land, they're still not likely to accomplish anything by the next turn. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. We have three islands, so we can play this Misty. And we can pass. We have a nice thing. Start getting something done. It's still not sitting well with me not protecting that Teferi. One, two, three, four. Titan. Um, blue, 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 another. Counter target spell, draw a card. Boop. All right. And then we fetch, go grab the Mystic Sanctuary. Mystic Sanctuary. Target the Cryptic Command. And that'll be a tough one for them to break out of. Yes, green, blue, here's this. Got my clock in play. All right, well, this might be the last non-sanctuary land I play, so I guess I should actually get it in play and care about it. Go! You think they have Veil? Maybe, I mean, we have a Dovin's Veto to cover Veil. Okay. 
okay. Maybe I should have fielded that in response instead of letting them do anything. No, because I need to hold on my mana. Summoner's Pact. Okay. Corsair Prefix. Is there a way we can cut them off green sources? We'd have to bounce three things. I don't think we can do that. We can only bounce two things. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I'm still countering this. And then we'll Dovin's Veto back. Can your target spell, return target permanent to its owner's hand. Okay. Um. Blow that up. Go grab an island. Boop. Untap. Verdict. Not great. Boop. Put cryptic command on top of the deck. Yes. Pay for the pact. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to do anything cute. Fun by me. If you're able to rid of the Valakut, if you're able to get rid of the Valakut, and get a three fairy in play. They can't win anymore without drawing more than one card per turn. Yeah, that's true. Maybe, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I'm kind of kicking myself for not prioritizing my Teferi more. But we also just, like, haven't drawn spectacularly. Um, I don't have a second Mystic Sanctuary. So this is just, like, a fetch to thin or whatever. Which isn't meaningful in any way. Although, like... Dalian, they would they would just like commit multiple spells in the, in the same turn, right? Like they would just like sit here and be in this holding pattern that we're in, and then just like eventually commit. So like, veil double spell and hope that's good enough. Fetch. I think I have like a basic or two left. I've bring pool some basics. I'm just gonna grab more blue sources. Pretty sure I need more blue sources. I want to keep my fetches alive, so I'm going to leave the breeding pool in. Spell Pierce. I don't think my life total matters at all. Famous last words, but I don't think my life total matters at all. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I actually do need all ten mana. It's a cryptic, cryptic veto. This keeps them from ever, like, I don't know, if they somehow have, like, double threat plus veil. Which I think they're a mana short from having, right? Four, four... Uh, packed. Sure. Prime Evil Titan. Makes sense. I love that Countering Titan actually gets two, two threats out of their deck. Boop. Two, three. So they know about this cryptic, right? Can I take a spell or turn trigger permits? Can I spell or turn this? Veil of Thummer. What are you doing? <laughs> Mystic Sanctuary. Cryptic. Okay, yup. I don't think you're going to do anything of meaning, so go. Pay for your pact. What have they been through? One titan, two titans, an hour. Two titans in an hour. Two packs. Yeah, it's very reasonable. We have a lot more to work through in seven minutes, but it's all right.
That's actually kind of scary. Means the next Falcon or Field of the Dead they draw, they still just have like a land drop, like floating. I don't know what universe where this spell piercing matters, but yep, yeah, like that. It doesn't overly matter how I sequence, so I'm just gonna let this happen and blow it up like Insta. Search for Loro. Load it up using these two lands. How many Valkyrie have they been through? They have two left. We got an eight. I guess my life total does matter. Maybe I'm just a big Jungus after all. Alright. And like, now we're a little weak to a Field of the Dead, too. Like, if they ever actually find their Field of the Dead. Is this game two? Yeah, this, no, this is game three, I think. There you go, Gribble Hand. Hey, I'm pretty sure it's game three, right? We lost game one pretty handily. Game two, we won after an extended period of time with Chase. This game, we're just looking to draw any win condition at all. <laughs> Boop, win condition. Nope, more counter magic. Go. <sighs> this, like, cryptic lock is not fast. Okay. Well... They found a third natural Valakut. So. Far seek, huh? I guess it's time to just start countering stuff. Because, like, otherwise we just die to this Valakut. Well. Sure. I'll just counter draw, try to find some filter runs. Stroke. Oh, Pierce. All right, well, every land drop they make deals three, so we need help. Oko. Oko's good. Oko is really good. Plus, do make food. This means now we suddenly don't get cheaped out. Which is great. Um, I don't want to tap like that. We don't need green, right? Whatever. Hey, gain life. All right. Yep. Shoot me. And then they just hold it. Plus to make food. Go. And then eventually we'll have to start making elks, but in the meantime we're gonna make a bunch of foods. Mm -hmm. Don't mess this up and let them fetch so I can't crack food. What do you got? 
scape shifts. Okay, let's target that. Alright. So they have one bolt available to them. Oh my god, thank god. Yeah. Feel that. And you fetch and get one bolt off. I was going to animate something, but I actually don't think I can. I think I still have to make another food. Okay. I'm beginning to wonder if these scape shifts are still lethal. Let's do make a food. They're drawing one card a turn, so I can just go ahead and crack this. And of six. This Oko should kill fairly quickly, but we just need to like not die to a top deck literal lightning bolt. My god. Stop drawing payoff cards. What the heck? Power of promise. Um Veto. You have no cards in hand? Yep, my turn. Alright. Plus, make an elk. Combat. Ooh! Fetch doesn't do anything. My fetch doesn't do anything. Plus, make an elk. Combat. Actually, it's not sure. I think I, I think I do have a. Uh, what's it called? What did this guy say? He said, "Ha ha ha ha." I don't even know where he said that. Yeah, the food. The food mattering is not typical. <laughs> Jeez. What you got? I got. I got stuff. I got stuff for you. Escape shift, huh? Here's a sample stroke. Ugh. This is, was an insane game. This fetch land actually was really scary. Because I was just still just like dead to it the whole time. What a wild game. What a wild game. Cast all of your counters on it. Show them everything. Just like more stuff. Just BMs. I have to get priority back. I guess I can hold priority and just like spew. Another one, huh? All right, well, here you go. Here's some, here's some elkies. Titan Shift. We'll, we'll interact with them. The Titan Shift player that's not salty after a pretty miserably long game. Like, there's a lot of people that would be really frustrated just having all their stuff countered, and I... Kudos to my opponent for not being a salty dog. Still had all these, yeah. Just give them the still had all these. Give them, like, two seconds to respond. Okay, this is longer than two seconds. They leave. Looks like they've not. Ugh. This is what happens when you engage your opponents. I feel like they're typing me a message. But, so I don't want to leave the game just yet. Alright, they're gone. Never mind. Alright, well, that was a nice, what, like, hour-long first match? We got him, though.
That was kind of sick. The the sweat of dying to the natural the third natural valakut drawn was real, but thankfully Oko is broken in yet another way, and we got him. Okay, yeah, Oko is not okay. Like it was literally the entire time it was more efficient to kill me with the Valakut triggers than to try to kill Oko. Like killing Oko was just a non-starter, and just like yeah, it was it was such a pog. Ugh. Card just busted in every way. I like playing Quaddle and Scapeshift in the same deck. That's good deck building. I mean, we played this match with my buddy at FNM, and I was on the shift side, and our game... And our get went like that, game two. Shift wins, if not for repeated Oko food. That's actually insane. Well, it makes sense if you think about it. So, like, if you remember me talking about the blue white control matchup like traditional titan shift versus traditional blue white control a lot of times what matters is your natural valakuts which is why i really liked adding a field of the dead during that time period where blue white control was really popular i just like played four valakuts and a field of the dead in the main deck because i was like i just want an extra natural valakut and like so the games normally do play out like that and now oko gives the control decks counterplay to getting just natural valakut chip shotted out of the game which is i mean like, I said, like like we just discussed, like, reason number 900 why it's messed up. Taught me how to keep in this, chat. Taught me how to keep in this. Give me two good reasons why I shouldn't keep this. I really want to keep this. Like, if the verdict's good, this hand's great. If the verdict is bad, I think we're dead. This hand's basically a mold of five. No, it's not. They're going to kill my Teferi. They're going to kill it. They're going to kill it. <laughs> One wrong half issue, two no. All right, that was a good... Those were two good reasons. Holy really good. <laughs> Look, this hand's so much worse. Chad, I should have kept. Should have kept. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, I'm mulling to five. I might. I might mold to five. This hand sucks. It's a London mull error. We can do better. This hand's great. See? Look, I was right all along. Um, we don't know if pass good, so we're bottoming it. Snapcaster gets less good. I like this a lot. We got a curve. All right, this hand's great. I'm a genius. Keep only good hands. In chat was trying to tell me to keep that first hand. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Have I taught you nothing? Third land, on time. Jeez, so easy. Yeah, this hand's so good. London Mole. London Mole's a big pog. Let's go, champ. Oh, fuck, it's Tron. Wait, we have Field of Ruin. Big pog. Huge, chat. Huge. <laughs> oh, it's so huge. We can just like mana leak them too. Oh, I'm so excited. My body's ready. My life total doesn't matter unless they're Eldrazi Tron. Please don't be Eldrazi Tron. Look at this sus shock. I mean, it does represent Ice Fan Quaddle, which is what I'm hoping to represent, but this also does look like a mana leak and a half. Yep. I'm mana leaking whatever this is. I don't particularly care what it is. I'm going to mana leak it. And hope they don't play a second Tron land so we can play Teferi. Yep, getting mana leaked. Yeet. Yeet. Mana leaked that. No Tron land, Papim? No Tron land? Yes, dude. Huge. Huge, 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 huge. Karn. That's kind of lame. Oko. That's not lame at all. Um... Fucking huge, dude. Itch. I want to. I want to hide this field of ruin. Shock. Oh my god. Broco, it's a broco. It's a make a fudo. Go o. Someone's crying. Oh. Hers is mine. Oh. Alright, we're gonna blow that up. Oh. Stop on opponent's turn. Field of ruin. Let's make a 3-3. Three, three. <sighs> Combat. And then we're actually we actually are going to turn this uh, turn this astrolabe into an elk and start the beats. No, we stop on their draw. Alright. 
blow it up. Um, yeah, we don't need a second wipe. Scrub my blue. It's fine. Oh, I don't want to have six. That's bad. Scrying. Well, fuck. They might still have Tron next turn anyway. I grabbed a mine. That is less than ideal. Hmm. Two mana. It's time to the scrying. Bliss on one. Okay. Huh. Astrolabe. Labe. Counter spell of some kind. Ding. Uh, is this newly controlled? This is newly controlled, right? All right, yeah. Well, let's make three-three. All right. Combat. Hey y'all. Sure, go. Okay. Just have the tower in hand. Yep. That is most unfortunate. Well, you get a payoff. Hope the payoffs are like worm coil engines and oblivion stones, because I feel like I can beat those cards. Just pumping ballista doesn't accomplish a ton. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can pump it twice, make it a three three. It doesn't kill like anything. And then I can just trade for it or whatever. So sad. They had two stirrings and two sylvan scryings. Ugh. Tron! Curse you, Tron! <sighs> yeah, I mean, that happens. There's no way I'm countering that. I know they have Karn. Like, I know they have some payoff. They just hit the Ulamog. Okay. It's not ideal either. Or a coil engine. Two, three. See, we can ferry that out the way, so we don't need to counter that. Okay, we can also just elk it. Seven, eight, nine. They have nine mana. Field of Ruin. Huge pog. Um, okay, so we need to yeet this Worm Coil Engine. Animate this. Field of Ruin them on their draw step. And blow up the mine, because that's the one they've tutored every time. Okay. Here is the Teff Poppy. Here is one yeeted worm coil engine. Oko Pog. That could matter next turn. Wait, so am I supposed to make a food now since I have a second Oko? I don't know that it matters. Well, let's make this a 3 3. Combat. I don't want to show them the field till post combat. I don't, I don't think they're going to make too many decisions, but they may overvalue their ballista if they think they can pump it next turn. 
Unlikely, but possible, so we're not going to play the field till second main. All right, they do not. They're going to pick off the Tef Dad. Which makes sense, I guess. Yup, Tef Dad gone. You take six, go to dead. Ooh, huge, huge field. That one. Die. Island. Go. I got, I got nothing. Are you dead? Are you finally dead? Are we done here? You could have seven mana makes... Oh, yeah. Love to see it. Replay Worm Coil Engine. Get out. Die. Love to see Get Out die. Oko, too good. Too good, chat. Too good. So is it reasonable to elk the ballista and Tef bounce the worm? Put at five and hope we are fine. Why would you elk the ballista? Why would you elk the ballista? It makes it a 4-4. Four -four, and then they block our 3-3s three very well. Yeah, these draws were nice, TD Barnes. It was very nice. Killing the Tron player. Doing the Lord's work. You can steal the tokens with Oko if the worm dies. That's kind of sexy. Mold to five against Tron. No big. That's what I'm talking about, Pauls. It's so, so easy. It's just not hard at all. All right. Anyways. Let's get the let's get the Pog cards in here. Let's get the shitty cards out. These are all Pogs. These are all shit. Um, this, this pressures and becomes an Elk. I think Tef Dad... Tef Dad's a hard one to analyze for me. I can't tell if Tef Dad's actually good. I can't tell if Dispute's actually good. Path seems okay. I want to leave like two in. I don't want to leave a lot. Especially since I, I want to leave Tef Dad in because I think they're going to fail somewhere. Force Negation's great. Dispute kind of sucks. Three mana mana leak is not huge. Oh, but Jace sucks a lot. Jace sucks so much. I get Jace out of my deck. See ya. Get the other dispute in my deck. So we just we're gonna win with Okos and that's it. Just like literally if they surgical Okos, we're killing them with Snapcasters and Ice Fangs, and in one colonnade, I'm in. No, we got a beast. We got a questing beast. Pog. <coughs> questing beast beat downs. So Darby bolts to ask him. Was thinking elk to protect the Oko, but I forgot he kept the counter. Yeah. Yeah. Scary stuff. All right. What do we think of this hand? It's got an Oko. Is that worth anything? The C rejection looks okay. Someone tells me this hand's just, like, too slow. Like. Like, these Ice Wings aren't actually good. And we can't actually catch a map, either. With this rejection. I don't know what we're... I don't know what we're keeping from mulliganing this, though. Like, we have interaction, pressure... I'm keeping this. This looks like a keep lose if I've ever seen one, but I think the hands don't get that much better. I mean, I realize chat wants to keep, but this hand is so mopey. This is a keep lose and a half. Land. <laughs> wow, we're good. We are very good at magic gathering. Never mind. We're all geniuses. Everything's great. We're just so good at magic. It's unbelievable. Who said we were bad at magic? Because they were dumb. I am forced into negating the hell out of whatever this is. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, let's yeet one of the miserable Ice Fangs. Or Oko. Ice Fang? Oh, so Ice Fang, Oko. Ice Fang. No, thank you. Oh, yeah, that was huge. <laughs> yeah, it is just so fucking easy. Who said magic was hard? Because they were really dumb. Another forest, huh? It's just... Living stone. Do we elk that? I kind of want to elk that. I'm actually probably going to elk that. Fetch. 
Tak. Nice thing. Nice. Nice fetching, idiot. Nice. Very nice. Um... Loco is Broco. All right. Do I elk this now? Um. So I'm gonna be able to activate it. So I could just elk the Ice Fang to start beating. I could make a food. Elk it and then trade for the elk. This is actually a tough decision what to do here. <sighs> I think it is better to elk my own thing than to do more elking. Let's upgrade this ice thing. What if they draw Ballista? I mean, I don't think Ballista is that relevant, right? Is Ballista actually that good? Star. Star. Do they even have another land at all? Oh, they're probably just looking for a Tron land. Yeah, they do. Okay. Scrying. Island. It's not an island. Um. Hmm. Playland. What the hell does this do? Let's just elk this. Elk this. Hold our ice thing on D. And just like be ready to offer trades. Although I don't love this because this field of run doesn't buy us that much time. <sighs> Maybe we're supposed to start beating. I'm going to play conservatively. Stop an opponent's turn. Maybe I'm supposed to do this upkeep. Because I want them to draw forests. Yeah. No, I don't want them to draw forests. I don't want them to draw lands, right? Because, like, natural lands is going to beat us eventually with this current trajectory. I don't know how to sequence this. I mean, we need to fix our mana and get an island anyway, so I need to fire off this field of ruin for sure. Who? I just. Um. Boom. And then we get to hold up. Oh, I could have held up Veto. Jeez, that's actually a big mistake, right? Yeah, I should have tapped the island. Mm, I didn't even think about it. Crap. Please don't punish me. The fifth forest, huh? Never punished. Although I could be punished, but currently never punished. <laughs> okay. 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 Yup. That's a beat. Huh. Minusing is pretty bad. Because if I draw an island, I just bounce their oblivion stone sure what you got a mystic forge it's the scariest thing I can think of liquid metal coating is one of the least scary things I could think of 
All right, Astrolabe. Ice Fang does it, right? Not necessarily, actually. Gross. Left two paths in, I could draw one of those. Yeah, let's play the Ice Fang. Because this is going to get summoning sick when it comes to my side. Blech. Um, <clears throat> the last two make a food. And you can just kill that. I could have upgraded this, but this threatens. You have to plus here and or a trade for your Oblivion Stone. Ugh. I want to trade for the Oblivion Stone, so I don't want to attack the Karn and force the block. Sylvan scrying, sure. That's bait to get me to counter whatever the crap that is, so you can resolve whatever you get off the Karn. Liquid metal coating. All right, now we're in, a, now we're in some trouble. What do you have? You have two mana. Could be Sorceress Spyglass. That one's kind of scary. Although, that one probably shouldn't be in their sideboard. Ballista. Ballista's not scary. Or cool Ballista. Right? Yeah, because I have three lethal threats. Oh, but you can block shoot. I understand. I understand. I understand. Hmm. Okay. So we can shoot this, try to gain control of this. They pick this off. What if I plus up elk this? Plus up elk this. I can just trade this for this. Get... Upgrade, get a 3-3. Three, three. Take control of this, try to attack. You kill this. We get we are left with a 3-3, three, three, but you kill my quaddle. I mean, this Archmage's Charm does a lot for me. Five, give me... What if I get, take this? They just shoot. All right, yeah, you can have this. I'll take this. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Now we use this and this. Shoot. This. <sighs> Grab an island. Now we just have to hope they have like literally nothing. Control of this. You pick this off, we kill Karn. And then we have a force of negation. That's what we got. We got force of negation and we got an Oko. Do you want an Oko? That seems a little sus because this becomes a 3 3 next turn. Actually, that's very bad, right? Because then I can just pick your Karn off with this. What? Why did you ping Oko? Do you have something that does two damage? You just have another Ballista? Attack you. Yep. Like, this makes my attack so much better. Makes me think they must have another Ballista. Why not elk the food? And attack with... Alright, why not elk the food and attack with both the Quaddle and the food elk? Because that doesn't get there, right? Because if, if I just elk the food and attack with everybody 
they have block with oblivion stone block the other one like block the the food with the oblivion stone block this one with the uh the ballista and then shoot this after blocks another mine huh there's like blowing stuff up at random yeah that is huge because this grabs mystic sanctuary that was big all right <sighs> we fight on go quaddles oko do the business win tron matchups for me please gain three life yep still dead on board tron land what you got i got two counter spells this turn oh jesus karn liberated Mystic Sanctuary. Put. Do we think they have Veil? I don't know if they have Veil or not. God damn it. Magic's hard. What if I just let this happen? He has to exile this and then we kill Karn. Maybe I'm okay with that. All right, I'm gonna put Serenus Rejection on top. Like, can we play around Veil by just letting this happen? I'm actually, Jesus, I'm gonna let this happen. Yep. Yeah, you have to take out one of my three threes. But I think you should have taken out yours. Map. That's fine. Okay. The whole point of letting that resolve is I think I can beat it and I don't want to get veiled. Plus to make a food. Could elk this, but I don't think that's actually good. Tech. Tech. You. You. Karn. You. Karn. Okay. We play on. Now we have Cryptic plus either Force or Ceremony Rejection for next turn. If they have one card, gonna be two. That beats Veil. That beats Best Threat in their deck plus Veil. Although, if Best Threat in their deck is Ulamog, we're in a lot of trouble. Didn't think about the block shoot something. Yeah. Yeah, this has been this has been a wild game. They grabbed Sanctum of Ugun. Chromatic Sphere. Okay. I don't think I can afford to counter that. I still have Sanctum to play. Woo! Did we 2-0 Tron? We 2-0 Tron. This deck is easy clap. Dude, this deck's great. Also, what do you want, Ken? I saw you said Caps Drake a while ago. Oh, was that for the, the Dovin's Veto? I bet that was for the Dovin's Veto, because I suck. I suck. Ugh. I just played like a donkey and won anyway, because Modern is skilled. That's it. This deck is kind of sick. Hey, it's uh, Abe Stein. Hi, Abe Stein. Hopefully Spell Pierce is good against what you're doing. You got it. Ooh. Mobile Hierarch. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, here's an island. You can go. This looks like something that is going to get spell pierced. Yes. Okay. This looks like a pseudo mirror, which is kind of sweet.
All right. Um, let's just go grab an island. Arkham's Astrolabe. Draw a card. Look at these good ones. These are some good ones. At least we countered Oko. She's by far the best card in their deck. Okay. And now they're holding up Queller. Gross. Ooh. Do we think he has Spell Queller? I don't know. Try to get her to Fairy Quelled or whatever. So we play into Spell Queller. They can Teferi pick their Queller up and the game ends. That's not ideal. Alternatively, we that would require them to have like the whole host of stuff, which isn't great for us no matter what. Hmm. Part of me just wants to get Oko in play, but part of me also doesn't want to let him use his mana, so I'm not going to. We're just going to pass. Ice Fang Quaddle. Yup. This is, in fact, a mirror, but with the Harlan's version over our version. Stoneforge Mystic! Yep. This is definitely the Harlan Zack deck. <sighs> That's kind of bad. Yep, yep, yep. All right, we're gonna need a Supreme Verdict. Like, on the double. Dispute is not a dispute. Well, this is not ideal. Make white to fairy. Let's get quellered. I don't necessarily know if this is the best spot. Get colored. Yeah, I'm representing path though, so like, I can at least. I think I can force the queller there. Problem is, Spellbears doesn't get queller. I wish it was a dispute. See, look how much better this would be if it was a dispute. We're gonna hope he doesn't have to fairy of his own. Here comes an equipment. Yulp. Yulp. It'd be really nice to draw a Supreme Verdict right now. Please. Yup. Yup. Getting hit for a billion. Verdict, please. We only got two of them, though. Having no cantrips to find these verdicts is kind of a beat. Hmm. You hate to see Spellpierce if you're an Abe Stein fan. <laughs> oh, I think Abe's doing just fine. Good one. I guess this is how it starts. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Thief of Crowns. Spell Pierce. Stop it. Okay. Plus Elk that. Oh, wait, did that just kill me? Three, four, five, six, seven? No. Cool. 
had to do the did I just kill myself math. Um, but I think we are still on verdict or bust, and he has to have not have Queller. Though given that he went for hard cast force, I am willing to assume that he is not have Queller. Verdict, please. So that's the nice thing about the mirror, I guess, is that like this is this. The way this mirror works is that oh no, oh no, is that verdict is really good if you draw it. But in general, I think their mana creatures are going to be better. So at least these pretty decisive games of do you draw it or not? It looks like the answer for me was no. Hmm. It's going to be tough to win anyway, even if we draw a verdict. But we definitely needed it before then. All right. Dispute's great. Veil of Summer is probably reasonable. Costing Beast thing is very good. Um, Dunzi is probably good. What's well, bad? <laughs> I actually don't know if Spell Pierce is that good here, because like as we saw, like he has just so many creatures, and he does have the the key planeswalkers, but on the play, like the Spell Pierces are just like worse and unnecessary. The question is, is Veil better? I think Veil is better. Actually, we should line this up. Archmage's Charm is kind of clunky and bad. Kind of want to cut it. Yeah, we'll cut it. Force Negation might be worse. But I think Force is the correct way we want to be dealing with their, the, the Planeswalkers that are played ahead of schedule. I just don't want to load up on Counter Magic. Especially Counter Magic that doesn't counter a Spell Queller. That is the big concern to me. Chase seems hard to resolve. Is he better than Questing Beast? Probably not. All right, we'll cut two Jaces. Feels insane, but I mean, all the good card advantage engines are low to the ground. He's His deck is about getting more creatures on the table than a true control mirror. And so Jace is, in my opinion, a lot worse unless you're already winning in this matchup. So, oh, this hand is nice. Keep Sand is really nice. Verdict still loses to Queller. I mean, my entire deck loses to Queller. Like, he's just, he's just if he can get his more equity out of his counter spells, he's just gonna get. I mean, he already gets under my clunky like control deck, and just getting more equity out of his counter spells for three mana is even sicker. So I would put him squarely favored in this matchup in this like asymmetrical mirror. But, I don't know, we could get lucky. Like, this hand's great. Like, it has literally all the things. So, it's some bulliganing. Is that what's going on here? Yeah, I'm to six. Lucky. Island, go. Shock, mana creature. Um... I don't know if I need a Temple Garden yet or not with this, so I guess I should actually just play the Island. I think even if there's a Planeswalker played here, we're going to be mana efficient and use the Mana Leak and hope to like line this up with like a Queller later for more efficiency. Like There's a chance we wait till turn 5 so that we can dispute with Verdict back up. She beats. Uh oh. Nice. I, mean, I don't have a ton going on. All right. Now we are much more informed on what we're doing. Quaddle. I feel incentivized to count this. Nope. I'm leak you. Ugh, that was maybe a little aggressive, but I wouldn't mind getting another time walk out of it. Oh no, it is land anyway. Like, the card's still a two for one. I do not like two for ones. Two for one digs him closer to, like, is. 
Nice land drops. And I mean, I would have mana leaked it if you would have main phased it, so like, I don't think anything has really changed. Fairy, that's lame. Shock. Dispute. Snapcaster Mage. That's a good one. <sighs> Go. Noble Hierarch. Um, let's just fix the mana. All right, this is worth it to me. I think getting greedier on it is not worth it. Should float green so we can cast a second quaddle. Doesn't have it. Lucky me. Uh, this exposes me if he has draws land and has another planeswalker. Stone Forge Mystic is fine by me. Sort of feast and famine. Sure. Now we have cryptic command. Online, that's pretty nice. Uh, I can uncounterably. I guess I could have path this main phase and made him cast the sword, but I don't know that I necessarily care that the sword's in play or not. Um, yeah, let's just take a draw step. Do I want the mystical dispute? I think I want the mystical dispute. Because <clears throat> if I draw a planeswalker, I'm gonna want to play it with counterspell backup. Problem is, I, I feel like I'm giving him too much time, but I really don't want to path. Oh, geez, Oof. very stupid. Apologies. I was like, yeah, if I draw a planeswalker, well, let me tell you how Mystic Sanctuary works. It doesn't actually just draw the card. Sure. Watch my batter skull. Sick. <clears throat> Shock. Yup. Um. Yup. Oko. Green. There's no code. Dispute. We don't dispute your dispute. Fail. Jesus, dude. Yup. Blech. Well, that's kind of lame. Nope. All right, path it. Gluck. Nope. I'm getting kind of cleaned up. Um, let's grab the snapcaster. Oh, go. All right. Yup. We'll hold this Oko because the Stone Forge is too punishing. Ice Fang Quaddle. Okay. Actually, I might should have Cryptic commanded that, but I don't necessarily think that's what matters. No, I regret binning this Snapcaster Mage.
add that. <laughs> Veil of Summer, man. I brought mine in, right? Tilt. Okay. Pick the quaddle up. There's still something to equip. All right. This is unfortunate. I don't really know how I get out of this. So I can't kill all the creatures. Can he survive a hit? Oko can survive a hit. But if I get spell queller, it's just a disaster. I'm still just so far behind, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna play it. I can play it around dispute. If he's got queller, I'm probably just dead. I mean, the paths were really bad. Let him get cast all his spells. What just happened? Big fat spleen. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Yeah, this is force negation. Doesn't like me, Elka Sword. Yeah, I guess I'm not technically dead, but I'm basically dead. I think I played this game really badly. I mean, the Veil of Summer was obviously such a gigantic blowout, but I don't think I played this game particularly well either. Like, the verdict... The verdict maybe could have been better timed. I could have pathed... Like, I could have pathed the Stoneforge Mystic on my main phase and then countered the sword on the way down and, like, wouldn't have to deal with any of this. <sighs> Does not feel good. Does not feel good, man. Alright, you win. Both teams played hard. It just... Yeah, it just feels like... The my deck is like so much chunkier than theirs in this kind of matchup. But Apestein did also play a lot better than I did. Hi, big fat spleen. Yo, Drake, has Harlan been working on Urza at all? Uh, what do you mean? Like, I think he's been working on some kind of red deck. I don't think he's like actively been iterated on the Urza mid-range deck, and I think he thinks Urza's really bad because Oko is so good against it. So I don't think he's planning on playing Urza at all. Pog Fortnite. Thanks for sharing. Digbert. Digbert. We're on match number three. What, we're two and one? Dex felt pretty good. I mean, we lost to what might be a better version, but Dex felt pretty good so far. Oko's still Broko. This hand is very medium. But I'll probably keep it. It's got a cantrip. It's got paths. Hopefully path's good. If we're playing against Tron, we're probably dead. I think I'm willing to die to Tron some subset of games. Leyline of Sanctity. Okay. Lotus Bloom. Oh, it's um, Ad Nauseam. Sure. Well, Path is dead. That much is true. Playing Ad Nauseam in a world of like counter spells and Urza decks and stuff seems odd. Astrolabe. I guess I can't fate seal them, which does actually matter. Spellpierce is a hell of a pickup. And like, if we draw it to Fairy, like that Lotus Bloom not coming off Suspend is disastrous. Huh. Nykthos. Never mind. I have misplaced what my opponent's on. There's... What? Nykthos. Oh, is this that uh the epic deck? That plays the the enchantment epic? I think it is. Oh. Scary. Yeah, because there's like it's like a six or seven, maybe even eight mana like epic. It plays like a bunch of propaganda effects and stuff. It would explain the main deck ley lines. See beyond. 
Wolf. It has been a few years since I've seen that card. Drew another cryptic command. Uh, I guess let's play this tapped. And the Lotus Bloom comes off next turn. This is not ad nauseum. Ghostly Prison. Sure. All right. Luckily, I think that six to eight mana epic enchantment thing is very counterable. What an interesting game. Hall of Halia Generosity. Put an enchantment from your river and type your library. Okay. Um, breeding pool? Nope. Oko. Okay. okay. In step, this in step, I might try to bounce this Lotus Bloom and draw a card. What are they doing? I legitimately have no idea what's happening. But I really want to get this Oko in play. Field of Ruin. That was a hell of a pickup. Okay. So we can Crypto Command plus Spell Pierce now. Spell Pierce looks like it's dying pretty quick. They're drawing a lot of lands. Um, blow this up. Yeah, this looks like the best thing. The fuck is this garbage? Dude, I do not know. I think it's based on that epic enduring ideal or something. It's, uh, it's like the epic card. Dude, I don't know. Let's look, let's look let's look what that card actually does. Enduring ideal. Images. I think it's based around this. Search all the way for an enchantment, put it into play. It's like this like this white epic. I know they used to play the uh, the Nykthos. I think, that's, I think that's what my opponent is doing. I cannot confirm or deny, specifically. Um, okay. They have eight cards in hand. Path. I'm actually going to path this quaddle. Okay. I don't know what they're actually waiting on, though. Path it. Yup. More blue sources. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Think we can play Oko and hold up Cryptic Rain? Um... Three, four, four, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Oh, go. Let's elk this. All right. That cuts them off three mana. Creatures can't attack you or whatever. Sure. But I'll go to do. Yeah, it's enduring a deal. Look at that. I don't know how long that's going to be live, but. <clears throat> um. Seven. I need 
eight mana to double cryptic. Okay. Or that. That works too. Oh, I did that in the wrong phase. Whatever. It does not matter at all. Plus two make a food. And we can't attack unless you pay two, so this game is just going to take absolutely forever. Probably going to bounce this ley line so I can, like, jace them or whatever. Like, I don't know how many copies of all the stuff they have in their deck. But I'm eventually going to make enough elks that we can bounce the ghostly prison and just call it a day. I don't know how they get out of this. I remember right, this matchup isn't very good for them. Because they're trying to resolve. Uh... Okay. Depression field. Okay, I actually want to counter that. Counter target, spell, draw card. Because I have a lot of activated abilities I would like to activate. Um, Mystic Sanctuary. Cryptic Command. Okay, yup. Cool. It's the beginning of Europe keep. Animate the food. Um. This holds up one counter spell. Jace. I think I could beat most of the Mopey enchantments, so. I'm just gonna like slam Jason, just get this running. Um, and definitely should have fetched, but that's okay. Not attacking. Phyrexian not life. You don't lose for every zero less life. Fine by me. Um, I think I want to bounce the ley line of sanctity and then use it. The nose needs to go away if there are no creatures, just let it die. Yeah, I just don't want to get my Planeswalkers hit for lethal, right? Turn to your permanent it's on his hand, draw a card. I'm going to return this to your hand and draw. Um... Plus to you. Yes, put that on the bottom. I think that's one of their better draws. Um, let's do make a food. Let's just play lands, but we're supposed to hold it. I think I'm supposed to take their Lotus Bloom. Like, we have to counter their Ley Line, right? Yeah, okay. 
They're gonna they're gonna kill this. We have to take their Lotus Bloom so that our planeswalkers don't get pressured. And then we have Jace plus Cryptic Ring plus Mystic Sanctuary, and I just don't think they get out of that. Stamp Stampius, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. So this is like a quiet moment while I'm trying like not to screw this up. The board state has gotten to the point where like there's a lot of things to manage. All right. What is this? It's just an enduring ideal. Blue. Okay, that's a green. Blue. Blue. Counter, return a permanent to its owner's hand. Now we just do this loop for as long as it takes. Make a food. Put this. That. That orphan. That orphan kid 20. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Oof. That was. A lot to say. Use this sanctuary's ability. Brainstorm. Put back. Oko. Land. Play land. Are they done? Can we please be done? Did they concede? Oh, they've not conceded. Why would they concede? That makes sense. Huh. Astrolabe. Redraw one of them. Yeah, I should have fetched. I think making land drops is valuable though. Um, I'm not gonna pay the two to attack them because I'm not winning this game by attacking. Then four nodes goes away. We want to take the counter return target permanent to the hand. All right. Plus, make this elk, mystic sanctuary, this on top, this, brainstorm, ooh, a clock, land, oko, fetch, actually going to remember to fetch, have an island. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sure, wh why not? Well, how do you pay to attack? I guess you just go to combat. Uh, yes. Die. I think this is winning at a reasonable rate. They're three minutes ahead. Four he notes. Do we start counter bouncing everything whatever we'll just leave it i'm planning on just like letting as much stuff happen as possible and then fate sealing them fate sealing the game is still by far probably the fastest way to win this game plus two you sure put it on the bottom here's a colonnade uh we can bounce stuff later it just doesn't matter at all i'm not gonna attack Oh, I was supposed to elk some. I was supposed to elk something, but or at least make a food. But I'm not winning with creatures, so I'm probably just taking useless game actions. Lotus Blue moved to the revealed guards, I'm sure. All right, untap, play land, make a food, plus you. Yeah, put that on the bottom too. Um, here's the fairy. We will plus it up and pass. And this game is could not be more locked. Nope. All right, Jason Mind Sculptor wins. It feels just like Legacy. I tell you what, plus two. Look at the card. Uh, no, I'm not put it on the bottom. Plus, make an oak. Plus, go. Ugh. Two cards. Mm. 
I guess I have a lot of admiration for people that continue playing at this point in time. Can you kill him with Jace? That's the plan. Hmm. Okay. I mean... I'll never guess it's gonna happen. The same cryptic command that we've been looping this entire time. Okay. Zero cards. Okay. Alright. Plus two, target you. Players can't get counters. Counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, and shamans or lands. No. Um, plus. Plus. Sanctuary. Cryptic command. Yes. Alright, go. And we can ult next turn. This is not going to work. I don't think Solemnity actually has any text. Players can't get counters. Counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, chains, lands, sure. It's like the infect tech, I guess. Exile all your stuff. <clears throat> F6, F6, F6. All right, we got them. Jeez, what a game one. I guess we should look at their deck. Wait, does their deck have 80? Oh, 36 cards. They have one form of the dragon. A ruined halo, which is, I guess they're out. They have a lot of ruined halos. Fraction on life. The dovescape. Heliod. I don't think they normally played that when I was looking at the list. Yeah, I've actually played this deck on stream before. It takes forever. Okay, counter spells good. Disdainful strokes good. Veto's good. Clock kind of bad, unfortunately. Although I'm like going to get clocked. <laughs> Paths literally have no targets. Maybe we can leave. No, I'm not leaving verdict in. Veils are probably actually good. Um. Anything else strike anybody is bad? Icing's pretty bad. All right, we'll call it. Solemnity puts Unlife in a combo so they never die via combat. Fair. I mean, that deck was never dying via combat anyway, right? Like, they just had, like, a bunch of ghostly prisons. Night, Happy New Year. This hand's probably fine. Cute. It's got like counter magic. It's got a bunch of reasonable stuff going on. Suspend Lotus Bloom, huh? Um. <sighs> okay. There's two Lotus Blooms. It's a lot of Lotus Blooms. Gosh, Teferi is so good against this deck. Yeah, you should be mulliganing to Teferi. Jesus, dude. Um, Hallowed Fountain. Yes, we'll shock this in. Six, seven, it costs seven mana, so they're about to have six, seven, eight. They might have nine. Temple, sure. The thing is so much mana. Like, it can still get soft permission. Like, right now, even if they, like, this came off suspend, if they, unless they have another land, they can't keep it from getting mana linked, which is bonkers. Green, blue, here's this. Jace. Stroke, sure. <sighs> Okay. Beats. All right. Having stroke plus plus dispute up makes me feel a lot better. No Teferi is a tilt for sure though. So lucky.
What if they play something like Silence in their board? That would be, that'd be pretty good for the control matchup as a bunch of Silences. Be good shit. Be good shit. Bunch of mana. Do we just, like, get them to crack this Lotus Bloom by, like, mana leaking it? Oh, wait, no, mana leaking it doesn't do anything. So, yeah, we have to leak Stroke. Stroke. Okay. Scribble Island. Am I supposed to play Jace and hope they don't have another one? We could Jace brainstorm. I don't actually know that I want this dispute. At least not right now. Oh, attack. I think his mana leak covers the second one. So I'm actually, I'm going to play a little more conservatively. Just put the stroke on top. And just like try to hold up a mana leak. Now that mana leak still gets it. Nodes. Sure. That enchantment does not seem super good. In this matchup. Maybe I'm crazy. But... Does not seem insane to me. I'm surprised to see it still in their deck. It might just be better than the prison effects, though. I guess as long as I'm hitting land drops, I'm cool to chill. I'll probably play Jace next turn, actually. Because I could do Jace Brainstorm and then have Stroke up. And they only have one card in the end, and we can just Brainstorm until like the game ends. OP's whole deck does not seem super good. Yeah, I mean, it's really bad in this matchup because it doesn't beat a lot of counter spells well. There's, like, a few decent sideboard cards, but in general, like, because Enduring Ideal is, like, so much mana, it's just, like, very, very hard to get under counter spells at all. But it is kind of sweet. Form of the Dragon's a cool card. Dove's Keep's kind of neat, too. Oh, that's bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they need to land two. Okay. Oh, we got force negation. That's such a pog. Okay. That's. Sh leave up the blue white land in case you draw the veto. We can fetch another island. I don't want to fetch a basic planes. So let's play the Jace. Jace. Brainstorm. Wow. Um. Astrolabe. Land. Okay. Well, I wanted to hold up blue. I ended up holding up, or I up white. Ended up needing to hold up green, but that's okay. Like it's not an urgent thing that we put this out there. I'm surprised they did not put their thing on top. Strange. Is they're just assuming I have a bunch of counter magic? One, two, detention sphere. Um, it's the quaddle. No thanks. Exile that, please. There's another trink coming. All right, let's just fetch Grim Island, untap, brainstorm, to ferry. Hey? All right, fetch Grim white, to ferry. Minus, pick that up. Pass. 
Looking for cryptic command, Oko. Any reasonable threat. Enduring ideal is... Oh, it's a sorcery, not an enchantment. I understand. I understand. I thought the Enduring Ideal was also an enchantment. For some reason, it is in fact not. Which is why they did not put it on top, and why I am not actually that stupid. Double Force Pog. Oh yeah, easy clap. Alright, I'll be back for the last match. Literally 2 minutes 20 is the restroom real quick. Thank you all for sticking around. I will be right back. All right, Drake, quick post bam. <laughs> oh God, how did I end up with a hair? Anyways, oh, there's a hair in my in my face. Unbelievable. I'll get it eventually. There you go. You suck. All right, let's play last match. Jesus, our only loss was to Abe Stein playing a pseudo mirror. This deck's kind of nice. Beat the crap out of Tehran. Enduring Ideal, I guess, isn't a super real deck. But we played against, like, Titan Shift, which is traditionally pretty good against fair decks. And we played against, um... What's it called? Tron, which are, like, also traditionally very good against fair decks. So, like, this fair deck is not shabby against the traditional, like, Predators. Bob and Cheese. I know that name. I don't know what they are playing, but I do recognize the name. Keep hands great. Turbo Call Name can't lose. Because you're a mod. You should be setting a better example. Look at you. Look at you. Unbelievable. This is a good, wholesome stream. Devoted Blade, maybe? Are they Do they typically play Devoted Blade? I think they were at one point in time. Because uh, I think, like, when Stoneforge got unbanned, I thought they were championing that deck. Turn one, tapped Mystic Sanctuary, Mox Opal. Okay. Sure. Alright. I'm gonna look like blue eye control. I mean I guess I am blue eye control, so like But like not showing green might have some value. Okay. Breeding pool. Nice thing. Up go. Dispute. They have Metallic Rebuke up, so I'm just gonna hold. Hold my lands. Uh, this is Grubbing Island anyway, so we're good. <clears throat> I think as long as we don't get overly aggressive, like, we're a very, very, fa very heavy favorite in this matchup. So, like, I'm just going to, like, I'm not going to run face first into the, rebu the rebuke. Uh, 
<sighs> okay, their own Ice Fang Quaddle, sure. Almost turned it on. Land. Still only three mana. Attack. Fine. <laughs> um, I'm willing to trade damage, I think. All right. Oko, he a little broke go. Yup, expected this island dispute. Made it dispute, great. It's just great. They don't have a second rebuke up. Love to see it. Um, make food. Go. And we just need to kind of keep our walkers protected, and we're actually going to be in really good shape. They're on Oko. Force that. Pitching a Jace. Done. They don't even want to play. <laughs> don't blame you, Bob and Cheese. I don't blame you. For what it's worth, it isn't going to be close. Because that's how this card works. All right, give me all the stuff. Veil of Summer is great. Rest of Peace is bad. Celestial Purge is bad. Dude, like, we've not brought in this, like, entire squadron of cards, like, at all. Is this card good? It's good against these idiots, because it can't be blocked by them. And it attacks Oko's okay. Overall, I'm not in love with it. Not in love with it. I don't want to get too aggressive with how I'm boarding. <sighs> Their creatures still matter a lot in this matchup. The cards that matter in this matchup, I feel like, are the counter spells. Urza, Emery, Oko. If we can cover all that, we're fine. Counter spells we have covered pretty well. The Ice Fangs seem really dopey. Like, they're good at blocking their Ice Fangs, but I don't think I want, like, a pile of them. And I think Jace is a little fat and hard to protect, but very good, so we'll leave a few in. And I'm not in love with a bunch of verdicts. Let's try something like this. Just as we drew it up. These draw steps. Yeah, oh yeah, we drew, we drew handsomely in this matchup. And it's nice that we get to play against Urza against a known competent pilot, too. Because, like, I was actually fairly curious about the Urza matchup for this deck. It seems like it should be good. All right. Um, Astrolabe. I don't think this hand was that loose of a keep, though after drawing two lands, I definitely look like an idiot. I think like five lands, a force plus a cantrip is like, on the outer edge of the things I would keep. Because, like, I'm totally cool keeping stuff for, like, every draw is good. Except, specifically, more lands. And I don't think our land count's, like, insanely high or anything. Emery? EE -E on two. What? Why did you play an EE -E on two? And, like, here's the problem. I didn't draw a single blue card across three steps. So, I am very likely dead. That's okay. Both teams played hard. Why is there an E on two? You saw Quaddle last game? What are you worried about? Goose, okay. It's fine. Fetch. Um, so grab a hollowed fountain. So your payoff is either Urza or none. 
My hand is about as bad as it can possibly be at this stage of the game. Think this will be enough, chat? Why is the answer no? <laughs> what a meme. Yup. Yup. And then they make three threes every turn until I die. I know how this goes. Think we're going to take a draw step and pick them up. I don't know what the draw step would have to be. It'd have to be good. It is not Field of Ruin. Okay. Right. Is it summer in here? It feels summer. It feels really, really warm in here to me. Ugh. Yikes. Okay. Right. Submit. I think I think we boarded okay. We just kept something on the outer edge and drew real bad. So we're going to re-roll that one. And try again in game three. I mean, that is kind of the typical fair deck problem though, right? Where you just like can sometimes flood out keeping like on edge hands. This hand's just un utterly insane. So uh, keep. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well, here you go, go. This card, this hand is unreasonable. It is so good. It's so, so, so good. Unreasonable. Just unreasonable. I do not want to have sex. I lied. Astrolabe. Lucky. You have Astrolabe and I don't. Fetch. Um, let's grab a breeding pool. I don't want to pay life for that. Um, if I have to veto, I don't want to fetch shock. Whatever. Maybe it's less suspicious if I just play this planes. Because I might want to be able to path to. And there's a chance I draw, like, running islands. Then the fetch ends up being the thing that grabs the mystic sanctuary. And, like, I feel like a genius. If we just draw only lands for basically the rest of the game. Shock. What? Gooser. Okay. Gooser. Aether spell bomb. Bounce a thing. Draw a card. You got it. Oh, that's step one. Step one of Drake being right. Holding this path for Emery's basically. It's they're basically on Emery duty and unanswered Urza duty. Because Urza plus bounce cleans it up all pretty nicely. Although Aether Spellbomb does protect the Urzas now. That requires me out. I guess Urza does make a fair bit of his own mana. Yup. 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 That's a lot of mana. Hmm. I kind of want to fairy pick up a food. That constricts to four mana again. <sighs> so say I have Teferi pick up a food. What happens? We just have a Teferi in play. And Veil plus Urza might mean dead. Teferi. I just don't see a better window to get this Teferi into play. Minus three. Pick up a food. 
and they can deny me the card as they should. Yep. Okay. So now I just want to leave this to fairy in play. Derp. And I'm just going to cross my fingers and no veil this turn. It have to be land plus fail plus thing I really care about. Well, sure. Gross. Yep. Um, spell pierce that. Okay. That's so frustrating. If you got the Oko too, I'll concede. Both teams played hard. Maybe I should have not done that, but it felt like they needed like all I really cared about was land plus land plus veil plus Urza. And they had land plus veil plus Urza plus Oko. Like, okay. Like <laughs> I'm just I'm not winning that game. Like by holding. They're eventually just gonna draw any counter spell at all and win the fight. So I think untapping with that Teferi is my best chance, which is why I picked that spot. But ended up punishing me and ended up dying. And maybe I, maybe I bounced the wrong thing, too. Maybe I should try to get a card, and if I find Force, I can Force the Veil, and then I still have Dispute. So, like, maybe denying myself the card denied myself a look at a, at a Force, which is possible. But, I mean, even still, busted cards are busted. We died to them. All right. My assessment of this deck. This deck feels exactly just like what a lot of Modern has become, where it's just like, blue-eye control, but put the actual best card in Modern in your deck. So you put Oko in your deck, and then you're just blue eye control with, with Oko. And, I mean, it's good. It's neat. It's kind of fun. But I think of the fair decks, Urza is still just the better deck. It has a better proactive plan by a margin. And, like, powers out its Oko. It's powering, out its, powering out Oko's, I think, is, like, the important thing to look at when you look at the disparity between the actual best decks in Modern and this deck. So, like... The deck that we played against, both decks that we lost to in this tournament, I'm sorry, in this league, had mana accelerants into Oko, whereas we just had Oko. And both times, they beat us on mana. So, like, that is what Modern's about right now. If you're playing a Modern tournament this weekend, Modern is about, can you answer an Oko on turn two? And this deck tries to, with, like, forces, main deck disputes, stuff like that, and then tries to use Verdict to, like, claim that it doesn't need to play Mana Accelerants. But in general, I think this deck is likely worse than the Mana Dork version, like, with, um, like, that we played against that Apestein had in the third match, because it just, it just doesn't power out Oko. And powering out Oko is what Modern's about. The Urza deck has eight Accelerants. I think the, I would guess Abe's deck has probably six to eight Accelerants. Like, we don't have any. So, like, our mana, our spells all felt chunky. Our mana, like, was constantly taxed every turn. And, like, the deck basically, it felt like a powered down Oko deck. But, I mean, some of the cards were powerful. Like, I think our Jace, Jace the Mind Sculptors were better because we had access to sweepers. I think, like, it's nice that we didn't have as many, like, chonky counter spells like the distribution of the counter spells was kind of nice but like with dispute and spell pierces like we did a little bit to mitigate like having a bunch of chonk but like even still just not having the mana creatures we definitely felt it and i think it was really indicative see you ken thanks for stopping by do you practice every day um this is fair and not broken you're right spaghetti you're very right um more broken. Yeah, need to push it harder. Which is, I mean, that's what a lot of Magic is, was, was about in 2019, right? It's like, try to get a card banned by pushing it as hard as possible. And, like, that's what works. Nice to meet you. I like the invert. That's nice. That's nice. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I practice, I do practice in some capacity every day. 
the pro- like I don't play games. I don't play leagues every day. But I don't think effective practicing is playing leagues. So, like, it's kind of a complicated thing. But I listen to podcasts every day. I listen. I watch streams every day. I interact and interface in some way with magic every day that I believe helps me become more informed and more educated when making deck building decisions and deck selection choices for the weekend. Anyways, this will wrap it up for the day. Two nice little three twos again. I think that we did that last week. Man, I am the most average magic player in the entire world, I swear. Anyways, thank you all for stopping by. I really appreciate your support. If you like the content and you have not yet hit the follow button, please do so. It's the easiest way to support me on Twitch. I'm going to let you know when I go live. And if you're watching this later from the YouTube channel, thank you very much for your support. And if you like my content, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, it's the easiest way to support me on YouTube. And we'll let you know when I post more videos. I really appreciate all of your support, all of your time. And I will see you all next week.